So creating the best user experience. So we have three development clients, right? All of them very, very, very good, very good tools. So if you're an end user or thinking about a new uh, thing that you want or a new project, or you're a developer developing something new or a new project, right? Which, which tool do you use? So, obvi so obviously you need some uh, good collaboration between yourself and the end users uh, to discover that. Um, we just uh, provide the tools to, uh, to get you there. So we have a lot of tools. We, you know, I like to think of our, 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 our platform as a toolkit. Uh, you can see a lot of that in Workbench. So some of these tools are user facing, and some are behind the scenes. So we just need the right tool for the right job. So today we're gonna focus on those end user tools of, of ProDiver, DivePort, and DiveTab. So those of you that have been around for you know, a while, um, probably very used to ProDiver. You know, ProDiver was the original tool, uh, launched first, very, very powerful. Uh, but when you're going into a new project or a new maybe application, right, you need to take this into consideration because maybe this type of analytics is required for uh, you know, the end results. So you know, what does ProDiver bring to the table? Obviously, very good data analysis and reporting. Um, you know, you can look at things in a ton of different formats, whether it's a tabular view, whether you switch it to report mode and you're doing, uh, uh, you know, multiple dimensions and you want them displayed a certain way and you want to add color to your report, um, you want it sorted a certain way, uh, you know, ProDiver can do all of that. Uh, powerful ad hoc, Custom calculations is a big thing, right? This is probably uh, one of the only tools where you can, where the user can go in and add their own custom calcs, right, on the fly. And there's a whole bunch of calculations in ProDiver. Um, I'm not sure if there's 250, but um, you know, there's a lot of calculations there. Uh, the, the ability to dimension switching, uh, time-based comparisons automatically right in ProDiver, even if the, the times aren't predefined. Uh, and it runs on the desktop. So that's ProDiver, right? So they may have, may have a need for that. Um, and the next thing is DivePort. So that's the next, along, along our, our journey here with, with Dimensional Insight, DivePort's the next thing that came along. So DivePort, so how many here are using DivePort today? Yeah, a lot of stuff, yes, yes. So the graphics, right? DivePort is all about the graphics. Colors, charts, um, you know, and if this is what the end user needs, or if this, if you're an end user, this is what, kind of what you require, more of a high level view of the organization, and you don't need to do the deep diving most of the time, you know, then, then DivePort's the answer. You know, with DivePort, you know, it's a web-based, so you can use, you know, uh, Edge or Chrome or Firefox or, you know, whatever you're used to for your browser, it's all gonna work. Um, you can do graphs, maps, charts, indicators. Uh, you can dive into some underlying details if you need to. Uh, the big thing is exportable. So all the pages or portlets uh, can be exported to Excel or PDF, and then you can take it further from there. Um, the big thing is here, data capture. So DivePort is the, really the only place we have the DivePort in, or the Diver in pro, uh, pro, uh, product, where you can, design forms and entry points for clients to enter data. And then you can validate the data real time. And then you can merge that data in with uh, sales data or healthcare data and actually truly have a, a, a fully encompassed application right here all through the Diver product. Um, yeah, and then DiveTab. So DiveTab is in the, in the journey again, this is the, really the third client uh, thing that, that we've developed, the dive tab, uh, uh, pretty cool thing. How many here are using dive tab today? So a few hands, right? It's newer, um, right? So where there's a need though, dive tab can come in very handy. Uh, for, for one, it's iOS based, 
uh, so it runs natively in iOS on the lap on your uh, tablet or your phone. Uh, and it's also PC-based. So we have a PC-based version of DiveTab that's al almost identical that runs on your laptop. Uh, so with DiveTab, you can truly have a, a common view um, across all those hardware platforms. Uh, also, DiveTab is good for handling large data volumes. Uh, the lab has done an awesome job really optimizing that uh, DiveTab environment for pulling large amounts of data. Um, and again, a consistent feel across those multiple devices. It can run connected or disconnected. So once, with DiveTab, once you do a sync, so you kind of you bring in some data down to that device, which is the higher level data, then you can disconnect and you can see uh, the higher level results right on, right on in DiveTab without having to be connected. So pretty cool. Okay, so kind of to summarize those, which client should we use? So if the end user wants to do head down analytics, you know, create those complex calculations, ma manipulate data, you know, do some of those custom reports uh, that we can do, you know, then ProDiver needs to be part of that solution. It may be the solution, or it may be part of it. If the end user likes visuals, you know, maybe they're a C-suite uh, person, and they want to see the nice charts and graphs, and they want the colors, and, you know, but they, they want to start out with a high level uh, view, and, maybe, and then maybe dive down to some detail, uh, then Diveport would be the answer. And uh, thirdly, if the end user works a lot out of, the, out of the office, they're a mobile user, travel a lot, you know, they're on the plane, uh, they prefer a mobile solution they can take with them, uh, or if they need some, some simple reports, DiveTab can do simple reporting very, very nicely. Uh, then DiveTab is the answer. And sometimes, uh, depending on your project, you may need all three of these um, to, uh, to complete that project. All three may be in the picture. But here's the challenge, right? And Fred uh, alluded to this in his uh, keynote yesterday morning, right? Here's the challenge, right? You have executives, frontline staff, analysts. Uh, you have different device types. You have different needs, with maybe a combination of dashboards and reports and deep diving and and maybe you have some applications in there. So how do you pull this all together? Right? If we do use multiple development tools, right? We don't want the user going, oh, I got to launch Diver. Oh, no, now I need to connect to the web and, uh, and go to this dashboard. Oh, no, I, I'm, Dive tab has got some of my reports in it. So you don't want them have to, to have to go to different places to get that information. Right, you'd like to be able to pull that all together. So the solution, and actually, uh, according to the discussion, the presentation this morning, I should have started with this, uh, but uh, st you know, start with the point. Diver Gateway. So d with our Diver Gateway product, um, that runs on all three of those environments I talked about, uh, you can uh, put everything together into one spot. Diver Gateway uh, comes with a sign-on screen like this. I'm gonna actually hop into Diver Gateway here in a minute. Um, my screen's gonna look like that. But, you know, access your data whenever and wherever you need it uh, through Diver Gateway. Makes it easy to gain insight, turbocharge your sales, you know, one-stop shop. You don't need to be hopping all over the place. Access data from any, any device. Right, save time through one point of entry. That's really the, the, the big thing. So I'm gonna hop over to uh, So here's Diver Gateway. So this is Diver Gateway running on my laptop. If I logged on to my iPad, it would I'd see the exact same thing. Diver Gateway. So what I want to show you here is so right from Diver Gateway, I have this button defined. And it's going to go to the web, to a web page that I have. So, right, so instead of, you know, minimizing, minimizing this and launching a web browser uh, to do, to get to some place, so we're back. So I'm going to hit this gateway security. So this is going to take me to a Diveport web page. It could be any web page, anything you developed. Uh, 
So it's going to come in here and connect and bring up. So this is this is Diveport right through Diver Gateway. So I don't really know it's Diveport, but I don't need to worry about the URL. I don't have to have this saved as a as one of my favorites in Diveport. You know, because I I may end up with like 30 or 40 or 50 favorites over there. Uh, so that button points right to here, and now literally um, I'm live on Diveport. I can do anything I need to do on this page. So it can go number one. It can go to any any dive port page. It could go to any external thing, like it may be a launch to Amazon or Google or whatever, you know, whatever, maybe your company website. Uh, it could be another button. Uh, I click menu, I go right back to gateway. Another thing we have here is uh, uh, we put this together kind of internally is this thing called a scorecard, which is gonna pull in information from multiple places uh, so think about if I'm a salesperson, here's all my customers. If I have program advisor, I can see all the programs that customer has and how many I've sold into. If there was any survey, so we have this connected to survey advisor, the survey product, you know, I can see the number of surveys. I'm also bringing in sales data, comparing the account, you know, their sales this year or last year. So what this is kind of showing is you can bring, now I can bring in data from multiple places, tie them together uh, into, one, into one location and, and show this on Diver Gateway. And then I can, I can even drill into these. So if I want to go down to like, uh, you know, this customer here, I can click on those 18 programs and bring up, okay, there's the programs and I can see which ones they've actually bought into and which ones they haven't. Uh, all easy, seamless, right? All through Diver Gateway. The next, uh, next thing that Diver Gateway brings is stamps. Right, self-service. So you've seen the self-service on the, on the web uh, with features there. You can do the same thing here. So this is actually, and this again runs PC, on the tablet, on the phone. You can have these stamps right there. Um, if I wanna add a new stamp, so I'm looking at cases month to date, this year, last year, gross profit, accounts sold, uh, year to date. So let's say I wanna add another one. I wanna add, I wanna bring in my cases year to date because I don't have that here, but I want to see it. So I can click that uh, hamburger there, click on add a stamp, go to my uh, cases, and I want to see it uh, year to date versus last year. Click on that stamp. Okay, that's what I want. And now there's that. Uh, so I can see that very quickly. And then these are, these are live stamps. So just like I could do on the web, I can do here, I can dive into them. So if I want to see my cases and dive into that 1.94 number, I can click on that and start diving into my data and dive further, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So self-service right here through Diver Gateway, um, all there. And then I have other applications here. So distributor advisor I talked about yesterday, or program advisor. I can go right into those applications right from Diver Gateway uh, and now see the options for, for Program Advisor. Uh, and one of the options is, you know what, I really like the Program Advisor dashboards as they look on the web. So I click on that button, and now I'm actually connected to Program Advisor on the web. I can go into that dashboard uh, on the web, because I like that version, and I can, I can see those numbers. And here they are. Or, maybe that's not really what I wanted to do, I can go back and I want to use Program Advisor on the tablet. So I go into that option. And here's the same thing, only, only in the Dive tab view. Here's all my currently running programs, blah, 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 and I can click on a program and, and go further. Uh, so again, a one-stop shop for your clients across all three platforms uh, one thing I want to show you here is also, you know, we talked about ProDiver, is I'm going to go through the Distributor Advisor, I'm going to go into some numbers here, I'm going to dive by supplier, because I want to look at my totals by supplier. Okay, so now I'm looking at month to date totals by supplier. Uh, I want to add a, a do a, something real cool here that, that the Dive tab does very nicely is uh, maybe I want to see totals by supplier, but I also want it by premise, right? Off premise and on premise. So I can come over here and click on this premise, and I'm going to add that as a multi-column into this view. And 
then close down those sh the, the other dimensions, and now I can see totals by su supplier by premise. I could do that all, all by myself. No programmer, no development, uh, all, all within dive tab. And then from here I can say, you know what, I want to analyze this data further. So I'm going to go up here and click on this export option. And one of the options here is open in ProDiver. So now I can, if I need to, right from there, go into my deep diving and my analytics. Right, and now I can dive into my brands, and there's my total by brands, and I can pick a brand, so you know, everything you can do in Diver, and I can add calculations here. But again, one footprint, pulling it all together. So now you don't have people going all over the place uh, to see the numbers they need to see. And then back to my presentation. Okay, again, just to reiterate, benefits, access data from any of the devices here, I did it from my PC. If I had done it from my tablet, we would have seen the same thing. Uh, save time through one point of entry for your, especially key point for your end users. Uh, view the data you, the way you want to see it. Sometimes you may want to go to the web to see those dashboards. Otherwise, other times you want to go to dive tab and see the, see the report. Uh, simplifying your IT imp, uh, footprint. Okay. Any questions? Yes. You showed uh, for the nine tab to go to a dive report. Could you also click on one or on a tile to go to my library? Yes. So I, you can do that. Uh, and this is just maybe a uh, further thought on that topic. So you can go to my library that way. Uh, but currently in development is to also bring what you can do in my library to this world, so you'll be able to do my library either place. Uh, so yeah, so. Anybody else? Okay, thank you. <laughs>